Wow, listen, you guys, it seems like Idiot Wilson is at it again, stalking the behind out of Nicki Minaj. I'm just like, what is your problem? Fraudulent nation people, what's, what's tea? What's up? Okay, now we're also going to be talking about this entire situation with Lauren Hill addressing the cancelled shows. Cupcake has got some words to say about, um, you know, her album. And we're also going to be talking about Kelani addressing the allegations. I wanted to talk about it yesterday. I don't know what happened. But anyway, these are some of the things that we are going to be talking about in this video. Hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea blog. I trust you guys are doing well, and I trust you are doing great. Personally, I am doing great, you guys. I am doing extremely amazing. And uh, without further ado, let us dive straight into today's team. So first of all, let us talk about Idiot Wilson, okay? Now, it has always been known that the man is a clown. Um, the man feels like, well, everybody who does not mess with Jay-Z, he has to come after. And we do know that currently he's looking for a platform because Charlemagne ate him up and told him that he does not have a platform. So so I guess I don't know what he's trying to do. So he was actually caught stalking Nicki Minaj in her station head. Now I understand if somebody goes on X spaces and lashes out or like goes on X spaces and you know goes on a rant. I understand if Nicki Minaj was on spaces and Elliot Wilson was out there posting about um you know what Nicki Minaj is saying on X spaces. That would actually make a lot of sense. But imagine a grown behind man who's literally 53 years old logging into somebody else's station head stalking them when they are talking to their fans wanting to hear what they are talking about i'm just like this is insane for somebody you don't mess with clearly you are fraudulent nation what are you doing in this woman's station head elliot so what happened is that he went into that station head and he took a picture a screenshot of Nicki Minaj's station head and posted it on his own instagram Okay, I don't know if this was fraudulent nation's way of saying that we are hearing everything that you're saying or whatever it is. I don't know if that was meant to be a threat. I don't know what that was meant to be. He posted and then he deleted that stuff. Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. I saw one bar basically saying that, well, I do. we knew that, you know, that man Jay from fraudulent nation has got people stalking Nicki Minaj. But we thought like he would send like an intern. To do that, we all know that those people stalk Nicki Minaj. I mean, Desiree stalks Nicki Minaj allegedly. And so people are like, oh my goodness, we didn't know that he would literally take somebody, a 53-year-old hip-hop journalist, to use to go and stalk Nicki Minaj when she's out there talking to her fans on station ad. Like, really? Is that how low you are? Somebody call Bored at Shulamane the God and uh, tell him to put Elliot in his place again because he's acting up. Like, what's your obsession with this woman? And with this man, I feel like he just wants to be relevant. And he knows that the more he gets attached uh, you know, to Nicki Minaj, the more he gets some sort of clout, the more people sort of pay attention and remember that he exists. Because outside of that, nobody cares. People have moved on from Idiot Wilson and this supposed Jay-Z affiliation. People have moved on from that nonsense. Nobody cares. Okay, and when it comes to Nicki Minaj, she's not even scared of <laughs> of fraudulent nation or that man. She's not scared to name drop them. The last time she clogged uh, this man, I think I would said that at the end of the, the video, the other time that she was out there clogging uh, this man. So Nicki now, being the person that she is, she knew that idiot was listening in. So at the beginning of her station head, because mostly when Nicki's on station head, it's bab stuff. It's not even like stuff that's outside of a fan base. It's giveaways. If it's her speaking in court, it's it's not even <laughs> directed at specific people. If she wants to do that, she will go on Instagram or on Twitter. The fact that she was in a bab station head means that it's a conversation with her fans. So Nikki knew that Elliot was listening in and she decided to give him a little lashing. Okay. She was out there. You, she was like, okay, you're out here. Clearly you want some attention. Let me give it to you. And Nikki gave him a little working. Let me just insert that little working and then we'll talk about it after that. Well, there you heard what Onika had to say. And indeed, Elliot is actually 53. Now, it seems like that's when he decided to say that, oh, well, uh, Onika. And I'm just like, oh, this calling her Onika when you're out here disrespecting her. Where is this even coming from, idiot? Like, this man is very annoying, okay? So he said, um, Onika clipped me again. 
okay, on his Twitter. And then the Bubs came in for him. You know, the Bubs don't play. They they came in for, they were dragging him left, right and center. It was shambles on his TL. Like they were getting in for him. For, for him. And then he said, tell the Bubs, I gave them two classic live Onika convos. Your hero, my stage, somebody scream. Um, And this is the mother, mother thanks that I get her. Huh? And the Bubs were like, what interviews? Did you give Nicki Minaj, if anything, Nicki Minaj gave your platform audience because outside of those lives, outside of those interviews, nobody cares about you. And they were working him left, right and center. I was like, go, Babs. I've never been more proud. I was just like, stop it, Babs. We like it. <laughs> they work this man. And you know that he has this weird thing that he does. Like if you respond to him, he retweets it. That goes to show you that all he wants is some form of engagement and some form of, you know, trending. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically what he did. And up to now, he's still reposting Nicki Minaj stuff. And then I don't know if this was a response to Nicki Minaj because he ended up posting a Bongo 2 picture. And I'm just like, man, you are sick and obsessed. Like you are weird stalking this woman. And when she responds, you guys want to run around and say that, oh my God, she, why is she clapping back? Oh my God, she's lashing. Oh my God, she's this. Like, make it make sense. I, at this point, I think they want to drive this woman to a grave or something because it's becoming scary by the day. The shamelessness, you guys. Anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Um, the next thing that we are going to be talking about, it seems like Arisha Please might be coming back. I don't know if it's going to be under Revolt or I don't know what exactly um, it is going to be under. You do know that after everything that was happening with the Diddler, um, it kind of, you know, went down. I guess people didn't know how to behave, um, you know, surrounding her. So she said, I think it's time, hashtag Karisha please, okay? And uh, she said, Karisha please is back. Um, so let me know in the comment section, are you guys going to be watching Karisha please or are you kind of over it? Um, the next thing that we are going to be talking about, we're going to talk about Cupcake. So you guys do know that cu Cupcake, um, you know, released the album this year. It seems like she feels some type of way and she feels like, well, her album was one of the best projects to ever come out of female rappers. She said, I've sat down with almost every label there is. Offering me 500,000 is just not wise for me to take. Um, when I can make that in one tour. So yes, maybe I am facing, I am facing uh, the repercussions. Not one blog posted the album besides Pop Crave. Not one playlist for the album. No media, absolutely nothing. But the album still pulled in 10 million in a month. So I'm blessed regular less. Um, do darkness also play a role? Of course, Don't Less is the best female rap album put out this year. And people know that. That's why they didn't even put a rate on it. But luckily, I do it for the sport. And uh, Cupcake is not saying anything that we have not known in the industry. Like, um, it's very sad that we're living in a time where every blog out there is a, play, is a paid blog. Do you understand what I'm saying? Majority of the mainstream blogs out there, they are paid blogs. And um, they are no longer just blogging for the sake of blogging celebrity news, celebrity tea, and, you know, these albums and songs and things like that. That they are now blogging to be paid directly from the record label. So if you don't pay them, they will not highlight anything that you have done. Okay. Um, so sadly, yeah, that's what's happening. But anyway, let me know in the comment section, you guys, um, you know, what you think about this. Uh, what do you think about what Cupcake was saying? And do you think that her album was probably one of the best albums to actually come out um, this year in as far as female rappers are concerned? Now, the next thing that we are going to be talking about, Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill is out there talking about, um, you know, her cancelled show. For those of you who do not know, she was supposed to be going on tour. But uh, allegedly, there have been massive cancellations. And uh, this is what she had to say about it. Some people are saying that, well, it was because of low ticket sales. And uh, she said, with difficulty, the decision was made to pull down our upcoming North American tour dates. Uh, the shows in UK and Europe are moving forward as planned. Last year, I faced an injury that necessitated the research of some of my shows regrettably some media outlets um pension for sensationalization and clickbait um headlines have seemingly created a narrative that has affected ticket sales for the north american portion of the tour the trust and faith i have in my intentions and my commitment to my art seem to have been overshadowed by this unfortunate portrayal so yeah indeed uh lauren uh being the legend that she is is 
telling us that well her shows are getting cancelled because of low ticket sales okay and um people want to make you believe that you know being able to sell out the way that Nicki Minaj has done is something that is so easy to do no it's not if legends like Lauren Hill are struggling to sell out that should tell you something but that's not to say that Lauren Hill is not a legend but I'm just saying that at the end of the day um you know the lateness to the shows and things like that like Every time that I would see a Lauren Hill headline, it had something to do with her being late for shows or stuff like that. So I guess that also affected, um, you know, her, her ticket sales. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section, you guys, what you think about that. And uh, the next thing that we are going to be talking about, we're going to talk about um, the Transformers album. Yes. Yesterday, TMZ did an article and they were talking about the album names of the Transformer. And in that article, they also said that, well, the album is three quarter done. And I'm just like, at this point, I don't understand. In one breath, the Transformer makes it seem like the album is done, done, done. There's no more work to be done. And in another breath, here TMZ comes in saying that, well, um, you know, it is three quarter done. At this point, I'm just like, is Armageddon ever going to come anyway? Is it going to come this year? Is it coming next year in 2025? Like, what's tea? What is happening? And now I'm beginning to trust everything that TMZ says because allegedly they are the platform of choice. They are literally the media of choice <laughs> when it comes to an album. So everything that they are saying, of course, they are saying according to our sources, but the source really is the Transformer herself. So I'm believing all of these things that they are saying. And uh, the next thing that we are going to be talking about, let us talk about Kelani. You do know that while well, news came out and um, she was being accused in being in an um, you know, sort in some sort of account by the baby daddy. It seems like she has decided to address that entire situation, basically denying the allegations, saying that you know what, um, this is not the truth. There has been a lot of misrepresentation in as far as that story is concerned. Now, as you know, the internet will obviously be hung up on one part of um, you know, the entire statement. So she said, I strongly deny any claims that I've put my child um in harm's way or left my child alone with anyone deemed dangerous or unsafe i also do not align with any of the allegations made against my former religious community that have been stated in the media so people are like oh my god religious community is she admitting that she was in a cult before oh my god what is this and that and that and that and i'm just like you guys a re religious community can be any community um the christian community is a religious community isn't it the islam community that's a religious community maybe she's talking about one of those hey this is just me trying to be optimistic by the way <laughs> let me know in the comment section um uh, you know what you think about kelani's statement because people are really uh believing that well there is some story there now the next thing that we are going to be talking about nelly now nelly is out there getting arrested and i'm just like ah. Uh -uh. What is happening in, in 2024? Just now we were celebrating the two of them, um, you know, being together and things like that. And I'm just like, boy, what are you doing? Anyway, it is actually being reported that Nelly was arrested um, yesterday for a couple of offenses, including possession of four ecstasy pills and not having insurance. OK, and uh, yeah, the mark shot is out and I'm just like, Nelly, 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 what is happening with you? Okay, is, is it being a dad that's scaring you? I mean, it's been a while since he was like a dad to a baby baby. I'm sure all of his kids are now, you know, grown. So is it is it what's scaring you? This entire thing of now playing family with a new wife and stuff like that. What is happening? It's actually very um unexpected. Okay, that being said, let us move on to the next thing that we are going to be talking about. Charlemagne the God. It seems like the man is facing a lot of backlash. Now, one thing about Charlemagne, he knows how to contradict himself so um you do know that kai senate recently went off uh, because allegedly people had reached out to him to do a stream with vice president kamala oh my god why am i still calling a vice president president just gonna be president soon okay um well 
well uh, that's what i think but anyway yeah you got what i'm saying so uh he was basically talking about how how we wouldn't be open to having um you know that stream and how he's not involved in politics and things like that and Charlemagne decided to comment on that and he was saying that well whoever uh was out there trying to set up that stream should get fired and uh you know vice president should not go should not go on that stream and things like that and so people quickly clogged him they were like just yesterday Charlemagne you were talking about how Kamala should do um, streams and interviews like that the same way that Donald Trump did. And today you're waking up and saying that the, whoever in initiated that should be, you know, should be fired. Like, what's tea? And that's the thing about Charlemagne the God. I feel like he just says things even without thinking what he said yesterday. Because side by side, those audios, the man sounds ridiculous. And I feel like with him also, with the streamers and stuff, he's kind of jealous of the fact that people no longer wait on radio to get popularity do you understand what i'm saying uh previously an artist rollout it included going on the breakfast club at some point they were the people when it comes to rollouts and things like that and now people just don't care if you don't mess with me uh they are literally gatekeeping nothing right now because nobody still cares about them like that do you understand it people care about the kais people care about you know independent platforms like this that are not controlled by these powerful forces that control the likes of Charlemagne the garden and dj Envy. so to a certain extent you can hear when he speaks he has that sort of um you know animosity hidden animosity towards streamers because they took their power okay streaming platforms and live streamers and um you know these people social media personalities they took the platforms that um you know the Charlemagne the gods were bragging with and were using to gatekeep um you know the industry so i will just insert side by side the audios of this man talking about contradicting himself and i want you guys to let me know what you think about that i will also insert that audio that i was talking about of Nicki Minaj cussing the behind out of idiot Wilson okay Okay. um that being said after those audios i do not think i will be coming back so yeah let me just say my goodbyes thank you very much you guys for watching and um thank you very much for making it this far if you have not already what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and uh, do turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time that i post and uh, for those of you who wanted the tea in short form um yeah i will be pinning the comment um you know from my other channel that i just created it's called instant brew so go and subscribe to that very soon i will be posting the shorter comments content without commentary like i'll literally just go there and say that oh well this is what happened bye bye because you guys complain you say that i over comment on issues and you might be right actually because i talk a lot but <laughs> anyway that being said thank you for watching and until my next one see you but we're not talking about them. We're not talking about them. They gonna learn that. But we talking about someone, if someone were the age of, let's say, 53. Right? Do you think they should be messy on the internet? Or do you think, and if they have to be messy on the internet in order to get their coin don't you feel bad that they didn't get enough coin before they turned that age? You know how many tweets I've seen you post disrespecting me, idiot Wilson? All of y'all, for some reason, when y'all are around certain people, y'all feel that y'all have this power. Oh, I didn't know he, he came out Drake. I didn't. I didn't even know that. I didn't. I'm. A, I must have missed it. I. I promise you. Came at Drake for what? Came. Came at Drake for what? Nobody owes you. Why? When y'all have an affiliation to Jay Z. In some sort of way, y'all be thinking that y'all can disrespect and violate. Hmm? 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 Huh?
I'm like, what campaign? If this some way, somehow, who gonna have the audacity to text me, we need you a part of the campaign. <laughs> At first I was talking, I was thinking she was talking about like a game, a video game, like a, a modern warfare game. I'm like, what campaign? If this some way, somehow, something was to go into where I do the stream of politics, I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm going to sit on my stream and say, why did you guys call me? Drop on the clues bombs with Kai tonight. Kai! Hit me and tell me who sent you that text, man. Because whoever on Vice President Kamala Harris' team hit Kai Sinat uh, to do a live stream, they need to be fired. Okay, stop letting social media run her campaign. You saw Trump go on Aiden Ross, Ross, and you saw the attention that garnered. You saw the headlines that got. You saw social media start saying the vice president needs to go on Kai Sinat, and you ran to go make that happen. Not even stopping to think, is this organic? Does Kai said not even care about politics? You know why? Does Trump, he even know the, anything about it? it, it, it have it, questions? He you, might be supportive of Trump. We don't know. No, he's not supportive of Trump. Cut it out. You don't know not, who he supports. I, I know he don't support no Trump. You, you know why the Trump Aiden Ross scream worked? Because Aiden Ross had real interest in Donald Trump. And I do believe politicians should absolutely meet people where they are, but it still has to make sense. Let it be something organic. There is a lot of places the VP can go uh, to get in front of a younger audience. There are influences Kai age, you know, um, it, 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 I, I don't know. But I'm, Kai, I'm all, like I said, I'm all from meeting people where they are, but it also has to make sense. But Kai Sinat has never even, I've never heard Kai Sinat mention politics one time. Not even no. talk about it at all. No. So we don't know what what his interests are, what he cares about, what he likes. Not at all. We know he's no. the one. He's the biggest streamer. But besides that, he's never mentioned if, politics. If the vice president was to run the Kai now, she would just look like she's copying Trump. Mm -hmm. you, you know who I want to see the vice president sit with? I want to see the vice president sit with the 85 South show. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a great organic kickback. I believe Carlos Chico in D.C. would have a real honest conversation with her and we would love that for the black effect iheart radio podcast network by the way our uh, kamala should tap in with uh somebody like that kid uh what's his name uh harry sisson harry sisson i think his name is he's all he's all in on the harris walls campaign i love kai but sending the vp to kai just because trump went to aiden ross that's corny i'll pull up here at the breakfast no club. send yes. the vp in her silk press someplace that doesn't look like she's copied the vice president kamala harris needs to be out there doing the same thing she hasn't done an interview or an official press conference since Biden stepped down. I don't care if she sits with Good Morning America or the 85 South Show. She just needs to be, you know, she needs to sit down with someone and let folks know what she is about. Let them know what her agenda is. Because if you go to her website right now, it tells you a lot of things she's done as VP and, you know, Attorney General, mm -hmm. her time in the Senate. But it's nothing about what she will do as president. You got 90 days to tell that story. If you ask me, she should be doing it. My first.